Hey YouTube. Today we're going to look at adding a Mars-like functionality to a ready-to-run Atherin uh, Rio Grande engine. Uh, they look really nice. They come with uh, the Mars lights uh, already in the nose. However, the light is actually tied into the same circuitry as the cab light, so you cannot get the Mars light oscillating function, which is one of those cool, neat signature things that the Rio Grande uh, had. And so you want to capture that. Uh, the same thing works for engines that come with ditch lights that are just wired in, into the cab light and such. Uh, most engines you buy today are going to be DCC ready and have some type of light board that you can just plug a DCC decoder into. However, a lot of those light boards are, don't have the wiring in them to take full advantage of the functionality that the DCC decoder And that's the case with this Atherin uh, ready to roll engine that we're going to show you today. Because what it has is a standard light board that only gives you front light and a rear light and that's it. There aren't any other function points on the board itself. So I'm going to show you how to go ahead and just simply by moving a couple wires around go ahead and get that functionality in the nose light. However it does end up coming at a cost because what we're going to do is we're going to remove the functionality of the rear light on the engine which you may not need. So in a trade-off between having a nice working nose light with a separate cab light, especially in this Rio Grande engine. If I were going to go ahead and keep it like this, this is how I would do it. And so I wanted to show you that today because it's a neat uh, way to do it. Very cheap, very simple, no soldering, no uh, nothing really hard. And then I'll also tell you the, the way that ultimately you want to do this so that you can have your nose light, cab light, and still have your rear light and not be uh, missing any functionality. So with that, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so here's your standard Atherin ready to roll board. There are uh, four pickups on the front and rear of the board for your power pickups, uh, there and there. And then on the inside of those points are the wires that go to your bulbs. Here's the uh, front bulbs for cab and nose and the rear bulb there. But there's no other uh, points except for the ones that go to the motor. So positive and negative there. You can see this one point looks like it's not connected. Uh, it actually is. This is an older board that uses these brass uh, pins. There's actually a little pin on the underside of it that connects directly to the uh, motor lead. So, but that's it. There's no other functionality uh, or function points to hook wires to. And so when you come in with your plug and play decoder, whether it's an eight pin decoder that would plug in right there, or a nine pin uh, decoder that would plug in right there, then even if the decoder has the functionality for additional functions, there are no points on the board uh, to wire additional bulbs. And that presents it's a problem for itself. And so really what you want to do is, if you're going to go long term and you want all the functionality, is actually go with, instead of a plug and play decoder, an actual replacement board. And so here you see a, a NCE uh, replacement board. It has the, the same eight pins on the end, but on this one end of the board you can see an additional three uh, functions, function three, four, and five right there that you can plug in. And then that way you could add up to three additional functions without having to disconnect either your, your front bulbs or rear bulbs. But then you end up with soldering a board. And so today I'm going to show you how you can go ahead and rewire your board without uh, soldering but ultimately, if you wanted to fix this and uh, do it right, you could go with uh, one of these boards. All right, so pulling these uh, off are not too hard. Uh, I've already removed the shell, and then you can remove these little plastic slider uh, things that hold the wires in place. Uh, I found use using a jeweler's screwdriver uh, helps quite a bit, and they just slide off, and, uh, and then you sort of lose these things down inside the engine, and so then you just set them aside, put it back on. Now in this case, because the engine comes with a nose light and a cab light all wired together, there's eight sets of wires hooked to these um, two points. So you got four hooked to the positive and four to the negative. And so what you got to do is figure out which ones are going to the nose light and which ones are going to the cab. Because the nose light we're going to want to keep connected and the other light, cab light, we're going to want to disconnect for now. So once you sort of figure it out, you can detach them. And in my case, because the wires were stranded together, I ended up having to pull the nose light off as well. But it's really easy to put back on. Uh, you just slide them uh, through the hole and the pin there, and then slip the plastic clip back on. 
All right, so I finished up with that end, and so now I'm down on the other end of the locomotive. Uh, this one's a little more straightforward. I've removed the lights that went to the uh, rear light and just disconnected those. And now I'm reconnecting the lights that go to the cab light to the pins that used to be for the rear light. And this is how we'll uh, reconfigure those. Again, pretty straightforward. Uh, just slide the wires in and then slip little plastic uh, wire holders back into place. All right, now that that's done, uh, the last thing before uh, we move on the decoder is you've got two uh, exposed wires now in the engine. These are the ones that go to that rear bulb. So you can either um, just cut the very tip of the wire off uh, or wrap it up in electrical tape. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and install the decoder. In this case, I'm using a NCE uh, plug and play nine pin decoder. Uh, this is sort of one of my decoders of choice uh, for the engines that take them. It's real good, real simple. Then once it's in place, just sort of get all the wires tucked back in where they need to go. Uh, have the, the wires going down to the wheels in their little channels. And slip this into place. And it's pretty easy. It's all tucked in there. Okay. And the shell just slides back into place. And one thing about the Atherin uh, shells is they don't clip into place. You have to be careful and uh, pick it up by the fuel tank. So now I'm going to go ahead and install uh, some KD uh, number 58 couplers. These are actually the whisker couplers, so they're uh, 158s. And I put a long shank coupler in the front and a, a short shank coupler in the rear. Now with this one, it came with two different size screws. Uh, a short screw that went in the, the nose coupler pocket and a long screw for the rear coupler pocket. So when you're taking it apart initially, uh, check to make sure the, if the screws are the same size or different sizes, because it's not the same on all of the after engines. Uh, some of them are specific to the front or rear. So then check the coupler, make sure that it's got good uh, spring to it, good travel, and then go ahead and get the uh, rear one installed. I really like the uh, KD metal whisker uh, couplers, the scale size, uh, number 58s or 158s for whiskers. Uh, ultimately, that's sort of what I'm putting on all of my uh, engines. Uh, just on some of them, I haven't gotten around to it. If they come with a scale coupler or a coupler that works pretty good, a lot of times I'll leave that on. Uh, the ones that come on these Atherin engines are some of them I replace right away though, because I don't particularly care for those. And it's just super easy to do. Right, now just put this uh, rear pin in here, get the screw in place, get that all tightened down. All right, now I've got to program the decoder. Uh, I actually used uh, JMRI Decoder Pro. I've been using it for uh, over five years now, and this is the only way uh, I program anything anymore. If you're not using uh, this program, uh, Decoder Pro, or some similar type program out there, and you're still programming by uh, actually on the DCC system itself, you got to get yourself one of these. Uh, they are super easy to use, and they make messing around and configuring your engines with all the functionalities of, uh, that will come with these decoders so much better than trying to manually enter in CV values on a, a handheld or something. So, like I said, they're just really nice to use. So after I get the engine all pulled up here, go to the lighting tab, and uh, the decoder itself has four light functions, but as we saw with the wires, uh, you can only pull up uh, two different independent uh, sets of bulbs. So with this one, the uh, output one, if you remember we hooked up the Mars light to output one, so we'll go down and select Mars light from that, and we want that to only work in forward, and it's still an incandescent bulb. And then on output two, that used to be the rear light, now it's the cab light, and so we want that to only work in forward, and then all the rest of it's set. And then you just write it uh, to the decoder. And so here's the effect you get uh, with that uh, steady uh, cab light next to the number boards, and a uh, nice oscillating Mars light effect in the nose. Okay, so here you can see the difference. On the left of the screen is an unmodified Atherin 
uh, engine, and on the right of the screen is the one we just put the Mars light in. And you can see that Mars light is a nice dramatic effect that will be very noticeable uh, as it's going around the layout. But in installing a uh, light board this way, you end up with a cost, and that cost is that you lost your rear light, which on a road locomotive may not be uh, that big a deal. You may not want to use this technique on a switcher engine, though, uh, where you're using both lights quite a bit. Uh, but if you don't want to do soldering and uh, completely replace your board, then uh, getting a nice functioning nose light, uh, the cost of losing a rear light may be worth it. So that's all for the update uh, this time. Uh, hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you at the next update.